Hi everyone, welcome to Rose Bell, the main street. Let's go check it out. Either everybody's waiting for a bus or they know that it's about to rain. Anyway, we'll push on. Definitely something went down in this park. <laughs> there is a story behind this. Let us know if you know. <laughs> Was it you, Ritish? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, other than the sign, it is quite a nice park. And guess what? Toilets, there are toilets there. It's quite a nice park, actually. There's like kiosks that you can sit at. Well, you can stand under because there's no chairs. But there are benches around the edges. And then there's all this playground stuff for kids. And a nice grass area. It's pretty cool. This is a really cool directional distance sign. They've got the Seychelles. Uh, India, Sydney Opera House, uh, the Eiffel Tower in Paris, the pyramids in Egypt, Cape Town, South Africa, they obviously couldn't find anything interesting there, uh, something in Madagascar, oh and that's pretty cool, Spelthorne, England, maybe these are, oh, I don't know, <laughs> but anyway, here she comes, <laughs> Grand Fort. Okay. Because they are in the Grand Fort district. I suppose. I like their benches. Oh yes, nice benches, Rick. All you spotted. See a lot of those. No wood. They're normally made out of concrete or plastic nowadays. The buses are a little bit different down here. I and mean, they don't have like TBS or NLT. They sort of just have these oh, classic. <laughs> the classic and of course the sparrow. <laughs> What is pretty great about Rose Bell, the nice sidewalks. The, the only thing is that you can never cross the road. There's a snack shop there that we want to go to and it seems like we're going to have to walk for like a kilometer down here to, to get through there. So maybe we'll just do it on the way back. Stay on this side of the road for this part of the adventure and then come back on the other side. Sounds like a plan. There seems to be quite a few um, ministries and government departments here. I think it must be the head, the central area of Grand Port. Yeah, it's probably the district. The, it's probably the district head. We'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> yeah. And some cool street art. I like how they the car. Oh, you see that gold car? I did. <laughs> Wait, how could you not see it? It was just <laughs> shining everywhere. <laughs> this is the police headquarters. And they tricked me by putting a fake facade on. I thought it was an old building, but it's not such an old station after all. Yeah, because the train came through. The train came through here. Yeah. I just love the random buses. This is a really cool piece of art. It's like what they used to do back in the day. The guy, the motorbike guy would come and bring uh, milk and you'd come out of your house and you'd get it in your bottle. That's pretty cool. Love this heritage stuff here. Uh, it's really nicely done. Comfortable walking shoes and flip flops. Look at this, Rick. Look at this. We're in farming country, gum boots. And it rains here. All the time. <laughs> you know, I'm going to have to point it out. <laughs> fashion bazaar. They have a fashion bazaar here. Oh, and it's quite a big one, like a good one's way. Let me go in and have a look. T-shirts. Go go t-shirts, 125. It's pretty cool. Yeah, someone needs new t-shirts. <laughs> uh huh. This one looks like it's pre-dandruff, so you don't have to worry. <laughs> it's a lot neater than the one in Goodlands, I can tell you that. And it has all the prices as well, so you can just come. Actually, this is quite nice. They have some really nice stuff. Everything's labeled with a price, so it's easy to see what it is. I'm actually surprised. There's some lot of good stuff here. Unfortunately, nothing for me this time, but maybe next time. There are a couple of these shops that I've noticed now already, and they go like far back. It's like you have to go in, into it behind the other shop almost. This is great. It's a cankeree, right? But they got their own parking, so if you actually have to do come, if you do have to come here, they got some great parking. And that in Rosebell is like gold. There are pedestrian crossings, so you can cross, but we've decided we're going to go down the one side and up the other. That makes sense. It seems the food's on that side, so we're going to have to wait to get food. <laughs> if you're going to drive through Rose Bell Rose, what are we called? Where are we? Rose Bell. If you're going to drive down Rosebell, you're probably going to miss some of these alleys. I'm just going to quickly go down and see if there's anything interesting. 
um, general practitioner. It just looks like houses, I suppose. Oh man, I really want to be on that side now. We will come back to this, but I'm going to show you from this side for sure, because how great is this moment? We've got the, 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 the snacks, right? In this old building with shops next to it. It's like epic. And a massive rain cloud. Oh yes, <laughs> and the rain is coming. <laughs> but how cool is that building? We're getting more of that building. For sure. Shop with saris and things. I do the saris. Oh, Ricky does the saris. Rick, go get us some saris. <laughs> oh, all right. Huh. And the shop is full of them. Ah, the plan has been revealed. We stay on the side because there's undercover and it's starting to rain a little bit. So, oh, there are people in the way. Sorry. I'll just move out of your way. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, so we stay on this side. Because of the potential rain, I'm actually getting wet at the moment. From the other angle, this is even better. How cool is that place? We definitely have to go there. This is probably something to do with the trains. Definitely to do with trains. There's an MCB. They've got lots of ATMs, but there is an actual branch in as well. So you can actually go into the branch there. I think this side is the, the, the clothing side. And that side is all food. We came down the wrong way. Hi, hi. But we definitely, we definitely came down the wrong side. Nice shops across the road. Some more clothing and things. And this really cool building. Just behind the Gandhi statue, I've spotted someone eating. Oh, that is Gandhi as well. We'll get a closer view of him. But look at the old building. It's like an old market. I think it might have been the original market before they made the really big one. Oh, and they've got loads of food places. Uh, Dalpuri, Dalpuri, Dalpuri. Loads of Dalpuri and it's starting to rain, but I really want to see this building. Oh man, and it's raining so we can go under it. <laughs> oh man, it is an awesome building. And I reckon it used to be the old market. You can see the guy's still got some vegetables in here. It is locked at the moment, so maybe he's gone away. You can see that there's some veggies closed up. They've sort of closed you and you have to come around uh, and, and get around here. But you can see, oh, it's really starting to rain now. You can see the old steelwork on the side here. It is genuinely probably an old market. Oh man, what a great building. Oh, and there's more down here. What is this? Have a look at this. I don't even know what that was. Maybe there's separate entrances and there's... I have no idea what that would have been for. Oh yes, and there's a casino down here, down the side alley. But why would you have separate... Why would you have separate doors coming in? Oh, I think they're separate rooms. Yes, it definitely looks like, definitely looks like rooms in there. But the steelwork is fantastic. Oh, and it's made by the same guys. It's the same guys that made the one at uh, Beaubesson. So it's the same steel guys that did the one at Beaubesson. So it's probably the same age as the one at Beaubesson. Definitely the steelwork's the same. The stonework is the same. So they're probably just built it at the same time. The side alley has loads of stuff. There's a gym down there, obviously the casino, and some other shops. Huh. It is a busy, bustling town, and most of the shops are actually occupied by tenants selling things. Oh, uh, look at the petrol station. Brand new. Wow. So yeah, total filling station. And it looks like they re re replace uh, red and yellow gas. I don't see any blue. So blue you get yellow. Ah, okay. Total only does red and yellow. Oh, interesting. Don't you just know everything? Uh, <laughs> man, that's a fancy sign for a Pudja shop. <laughs> Not sure where it is. Oh, it's probably in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I got it wrong. This is it. Yeah, this is the Pudja shop. This does costume jewelry. 
Wow, bling. Oh, look at this. Wow. I genuinely sort of want to know. This is, we at the Puja shop still. What is this that it has to have a chimney? Oh yes, you burn things. Okay, well done, right. Magazine Central. This is like a guy's shop. All guys stuff in here. Skinny jeans, fancy shirts. <laughs> Over here is a beauty parlor. So, yeah, you can see what all those things are. Loads of anti aging. Mm. I'm sure that we just saw a fashion bazaar up there. And yet, there's another one. So, another, literally, another fashion bazaar. I'm gonna go check it out, see if it's different from the other one. I'm super curious what is 50 rupees only. It can't be those chairs. Intriguing. There's a pet store. Oh, and someone's got Briani. This is e bike. It's a shop that specializes in electric bicycles and scooters. And well, I think it's closed at the moment, but they got motorbikes inside. Oh, so maybe they do regular motorbikes as well. But loads of electric stuff. Oh, how cool is this electric bike? <laughs> It's a bike, not a bike. <laughs> oh, ha, ha. bike. Unfortunately, it's far too small for Brian, but it's very cool. Apparently, it's a Game of Thrones reference. Huh? They actually have towels at the Fashion Bazaar and white towels. So we're gonna get a small towel for our kitchen. It's only 50 rupees. Huh? 50 rupees? Yeah, not bad at all. Definitely needed it. Maybe we should have got another one while we're here. Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we know where it's come. Yes, Rose Bell. Uh-huh. And those big towels are only 250 and they look quite big. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Ricky pointed out this piece of ingenuity that the balcony is just not quite big enough for the bike, so they've had this little wooden thing made to put them on. <laughs> oh, that's epic. It does say tattoo studio. So maybe there's a tattoo studio up there. Most of the shops on the high street are occupied, but it's like this down this little alley. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, I was going to say that it's closed, but I think that's the shop that's on that side. And, and there are shops down here and a beauty parlor and everything, so I think it might just be, just be on this side. But it does look like a lot of the shops are occupied. And then here we've got a great um, toy shop. With lots of toys and stuff for the kids. Next to you. Another toy tour. Yeah. This is a tropical one, apparently. <laughs> That's a patisserie. Patisserie Petit Prince. Student point, not sure what that is. Looks like another Pudja shop. Student point, it's like school bags and books and Okay, <laughs> it doesn't look like it because, oh well, let's go have a look. This is the student point that Ricky was so rude about. <laughs> and why I thought it was like a Pudja shop because it had uh, statues and things. But I think we might both have been right because they've got pens and backpacks and school stuff. <laughs> so it's school stuff on the inside and statues on the outside. Oh, and this is break time. I think it's actually a, a food shop. Okay, they do paninis and things. There are loads of clothing shops. I like this one. It's sort of in, in an alley. So <laughs> all your shoes and t-shirts and things down the alley. Of the library list elements is actually a bookshop. Oh wow! But I just wanted to show you this hairdresser. Oh man, 
That is so cool. And that's probably all you need. Just a door, place to sit, get your hair cut. Looks great. That's right here on the high street. <laughs> just off it. And they just have loads and loads of clothes and shoes and masks. Everyone has masks. Oh, and here's some food. So you got two classic pule tikka and bread. <laughs> and then she's got various curries and things, which I assume you can have on bread as well. Nice, and the chili sauce. Oh man, I missed it. This bus is called Noisy Travel. <laughs> Finally, one that fits. There's a, a watch and gift shop. Oh. Kasim. It says Kasim. Do you think they have uh, a bread Kasim and tea? building? Probably not. I think just the name, probably. You get these fascinating shops. It's got like. Roll, I don't know, money tin probably. <laughs> Brian in the background. Random things. Yeah, I spend so much time looking at the stone buildings that I forget to look at these ones. I mean, they are they are like old. Uh, there's, you can actually tell by the tiled floor and and the pillars and the way the whole thing is constructed. It's it's an old building. I must try and remember to look out for these guys as well. It's not just about the old stone buildings. <laughs> it's also about the great 50s buildings. We got a whole stand of bread. Oh, and it smells so pretty. It must be really fresh. Oh, and they're quite cheap as well. They're proper pricing, yeah? Nor snack. It's got a briani pot. A dig, I think it's called. Briani, briani poulet. Briani poulet. Oh, there yeah, he is. He's making it in there. Chicken. Oh, wow. Why oh, are you saying I can come around? I've seen no videos on, on, on Facebook. Oh, have you? We're here in Rose Bell now. Look at yes. this briani. Briani. Oh, briani. That's a you nice are, looking potato. Rose Bell Market. Yes, yes. Yes, I've seen it. Okay, great. Well, we great, great one. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Chana oh. puri. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there we can go. go inside. <laughs> we'll go and have a look quickly. Have a look at the biryani. I just love the stuff around it to keep it steaming. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, we're still in North Snack. And have a look at all these uh, fillings that you can get. Oh, and then look at this. This is the fish. Oh, wow, fish. Oh, man, fish curry. Oh, wow, everything looks so great here. Oh, someone's getting a fish. No snack and Rose Bell, specialists in biryani and other things. Look at all the beautiful sides they've got, like plantain, bread. This is a great looking shop. And yes, their menu. So, okay, Thali veg, 135. Wow, there you go. Really good. My mother, my mother cooked this. Oh, wow, your mother. Hi, wow, it looks beautiful. Okay, so we're going to have to organize another planned trip down to Rosebell to come and eat here because look at this on the table. You've got like chutney and fresh chili. Oh, yes. these guys, I think these guys, yeah, know wow. how to cook. I think they really, really know how to cook. We have to come back. Rosemont, we, yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> we should just move here for a, a week or so. <laughs> stand on the corner. There are just loads of shops. Oh, I love these motorbike things. Oh man, they are so cool. They're electric as well. But have a look here. Railway building. The railway used to come here. It used to go down that road there. <laughs> so the railway used to come right past railway building. Oh, I wonder if it was here at the time of the railway. Well, it looks like we're heading into the downtown area. Oh, another snack. That's a Pima. Three for 10 rupees. Six ways four. You can get a tikva for four rupees. Bonjour! They have a lot of these cool mosaic floors. I love it. It looks like a really modern building. It does look like, like Ricky says, they've got some there and then someone's put a new one and then just a little bit further on, 
the old one again. So I think this might have been the original and, and people just put their own one on. We're into a more uh, functional part of town. Wait for the bus to go by. But you got the hardwares here. You know, like your cement mixers and paint shops and lighting shops. That's more down in this area. We call it downtown, near where the railway used to go. I love this immersion. So you've got this really old sign, Finest Resto Cuisine. Yes, Fiesta Chicken Sandwiches open till late. But it's now a shoe shop. Hmm. And this is like um, the area where you're going to get all your tiles and stuff for your home. There's an electric bike up there, actual bicycle, but I don't know how you get there. It, it's like in between levels. It oh, is. <laughs> oh, and check that place. More than just food and drink. Well, most shops here are more than what they advertise. <laughs> Well, we're finally getting to cross the road. Hopefully I'm not going to get run over. It seems like everyone has stopped for me now. <laughs> but I really want to go and see this more than just food and drink. Rookie's stuck on that side now. <laughs> oh man. Oh, it actually is a shop. Tech Bistro. Oh, wow. So this is it more than just food. It's called a Tech Bistro. Good food, great ideas. Made in Morris. Morris Artisans. Oh man, today's Good Mood is sponsored by coffee. <laughs> oh man, what a beautiful place. Have a look at this main table. Oh wow. Wow, it looks great. Actually, like another place to come and eat in Rose Bowl. It looks really nice. I love this. Last night I wanted to drink coffee. This morning I am drinking coffee. Follow your dreams. <laughs> Wow, this place is really beautiful inside. And it's got interesting things that you can read. Are you having a coffee? Yeah, it's quite small, but really good pricing. Yeah. And trendy decor. Another one to add to your list. Well, the other side of the street, welcome to it. <laughs> it's got more traffic on this side for some reason. Hotel Paradise. It is a huge shop with plates and things. Oh wow! I can come through. She says I can come through and show you guys. But look at this, they've got plates and all sorts of things. Oh wow! Oh man! And there's the pricing. It's like lipsticks for 35, 30, mascara, plastic plants, plastics. Oh there's an upstairs as well. But if you guys have been looking for those little white ceramic things that you need to put your yes. chilies in and stuff. Yes, we have. Not Ricky, of course. Ricky doesn't need anything. She doesn't need any more shopping. Okay. I know we like to <laughs> These are super cool and they've got so many different shapes. For your sauces and things. Really, really cool. Oh man, we're already late for either appointment, but I can't help myself. I have to go upstairs. It's, it's okay. You got your plastic plants for planting pots and flowers and things. More. Oh man, look at this place. I'm going to turn you guys around. Look at all these plates. There's the pricing there. And wait for it. I'm going to give you over to a second. Have a look at all of these. Oh man, those are the pricings. I don't know if you guys can read it. But there's more. There is literally every single shape, size of pot and glass you can imagine. How many coffee mugs does Rose Bell go through? Oh, wow. Oh, man. It just keeps going. Glass, plastic, ceramic, you name it. Yes, I am a little bit lost for words. And there's more, I suppose that's their storage down there. And there's just so much stuff here. And the paper stuff, they also have the paper stuff. So ceramic, paper, plastic. 
fake lawn. <laughs> cool, man. And shells. Probably fake shells. Oh, man. And things for cakes, for your hot teas. Wow, and really beautiful artificial roses. And I suppose the uh, nice screens you can put on your wall for your restaurant. These roses look really good and they're like um, velvety. Pretty cool. Lovely plates and Christmas decorations. Simple. And then they've got a really big selection of plain white plates. Very useful to know. Hey look everyone, I made it! I'm on TV! <laughs> <laughs> If you're looking for stuff, it is worth the drive all the way to Rosebell to come and find the stuff. There's so much stuff in the shop. It's like the find of the day, the find of the day. Wholesaler's Paradise. Um, it's uh, uh, opposite the Lulu. ceramic shop. And I think you can park just down that little side street. Other electro mubles, which probably means some sort of furniture. Because as you can see here, they've got some furniture, but the electro is like the electric scooters. <laughs> Brian's apparently hankering for an electric scooter because he keeps pointing them all out. <laughs> I don't know, it's just like a thing. Everyone seems to have them now. Uh-huh, they're cool. Another big shop full of things, no doubt. I'm not going in there, we're late. But here's some fruit. Oh-ho! Great looking fruit, pineapples and mangoes. <laughs> Thank you. And vegetables, all peanuts. There we are, peanuts, 75 rupees. Oh man. Oh. And more peanuts. Oh, and one of those cool transporters. Very useful things. And we drove down this road on a video. Brian will put a card. There'll be a card. That's the other side. Let's go to the other side, guys. I'll put a card up there. <laughs> we'll get one over. <laughs> really awesome bus station in Mercian colours. We haven't been showing many snacks because there aren't really that many. But you have some all with some uh, oh, honey puris and. What are those? They they very clear, clear aubergines. <laughs> Everything else sold out. <laughs> They're very similar things on this. Oh, now they're watches and jewelry. Oh, and tripods. Anyway, I was going to say they're similar things, but they aren't. There's some cool things here. Ha <laughs> ha! Ring lights. And tripods. That's a nice looking tripod. This is TFP, the furniture people. They have furniture, <laughs> sofas and all sorts. Look at these treats, they're so pretty. Oh man, all beautiful colors. Oh, oh. Really nice. Or more of the tikka chicken buns at the snack shop. And look, they probably do a barbecue at, at, on days. Grill. <laughs> there are flowers, so we have to try and get Ricky with the flowers. <laughs> there we go. You know, it kind of rains on and off, but it's not like a rain rain, it's just you don't a couple really of drops. Get it all... No. Yeah, it's not getting all that wet, it's just the rain falls but misses you. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can dodge the drops. Haha, <laughs> pitch up. With birds. And the sari place. Loads of them here. Great shot. Okay. So much chaos going on behind you. <laughs> oh man, we finally made it back. Hooting buses, but the old building, it's here. I don't know what infinity is, but look at it. It's awesome. Oh man. 
Oh wow! What a great building! <laughs> for sure. No, there's just a grey building behind you. <laughs> Rosebell's got a lot more to offer than that. <laughs> These are probably the original wooden shutters. Oh wow, you can see them being... I don't even know how they were nailed in there. But it is unfortunately rotting away. But wow! Well guys, we're going to get as much of this building as we can because they're going to turn it into, they're going to probably demolish it and turn it into some shops. That's progress, but what an awesome building! Oh man! Oh, these are regular snacks, but have a look at this. These look like deep fried pastries or something. Oh wow, and some vermicelli thing. Oh, taking pictures of me and she's about to die. Yes, with the sauce, please. Ricky is getting it. Oh, she's putting the, he's putting the sauce on the inside. <laughs> oh, wow, it actually oh, goes yes. in. That's how Rosebell does it. Oh, man. <laughs> Done correctly. And I'm getting one of these little pastry things. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> oh, that, oh, wow. More, I, I'll, I'll have some of those, please. <laughs> <laughs> how many? Have three, please. Yes. Tomato sauce for sure. Just like they do in Rose Bowl, in with the tomato sauce on the inside of the Chenna Because we're in Rose Bowl. Because we're in Rose Bowl. The proper way to do a Rose Bowl Chenna And Ricky's gonna, yes please. And Ricky's gonna try it. The proper Rose Bowl Chenna Oh man, is it good? Is it everything where it was promised mm. to be? Oh, the sauce. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, the sauce makes it. Mm -hmm. This one is very hot. And mine, I've got mm -hmm. the chili ones. Oh, and it's hot. It's very, very hot. It's going to be too hot to eat. Mm -hmm. Let's give you can I put that there. Let me show you inside there. He's giving them to me, and it's got the chili on and everything. Mm -hmm. So I'm dying to try it. Mm -hmm. What's that? Oh, look at that squishy tomato -y chili mm. relish on the inside. Oh, man. Mm, there you go. Oh, and there, there's the chana. Yeah. <laughs> oh, delicious. Mm. When you come to this epic old building, make sure you come and get some of the chana puris, and the gato pimongs, mm -hmm. and the sweets. At this old building, could it be any better? Hot. Oh, the guy's giving him something Ooh. really hot. Really, not really sure hot. What it is. I don't know what it is, but I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna. Oh, uh -huh. oh, it's just been cooked. <laughs> mm. Oh, and what me? Thank you. Oh, wow, that's really hot. Oh. Ooh, la la. Mm. Putting it down. Putting it down. <laughs> mm. <Okay. laughs> They're laughing now. <laughs> mm. It tastes really good. It was just too hot for me. <laughs> just came out, literally just came out. Just of came oil. out of the hot oil. Mm. But it tastes really good. And the relish on it, it's a fantastic relish. <laughs> oh. Ricky's going to try this super hot thing. Hey, it's too hot for my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a gorgeous deep fried bread thing. Mm. It does taste good. Oh, yeah. And it's quite nice hot, but you have to be ready for yeah. it. Mm. Not sure what it is. It's definitely not normal flour. Ooh, hot. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Good. Mm. Really good. Right. Have a look at what they're doing here. No oh man, they're putting. Samosa, eggplant, gutta pima, and, and the bread. Chili and it's my oh my word! Oh my word! This is it. This is next level of gutta pima breakfast. Oh, oh wow! Thank you so much. <laughs> There's also a happy eater fried chicken, and of course, Wok and Grill is here. Sorry, Wok and Grill. So this is like the foodie side that we missed earlier. 
Oh, and it looks like it goes upstairs, but we're not going upstairs. This is the grill part. Oh, wow. And there's the yeah, menu. You can sit up there and watch Rose Bell. Yes. Oh, wow. Check out this guy's shop. Oh, man, that is swish stuff. Way too smart for me. Oh, wow. Probably, probably to get married in, I'm thinking. Ricky got it right. Fancy restaurants. Uh -huh. Oh, Putu. This is a great feature we haven't pointed out yet. These are all dustbins. So they actually have them all the way along. Wherever you look, you can see another dustbin. Well, well behind her is a dustbin. We'll Are wait for it to. Are supposed to be plants? Are they? Oh, I thought they were dustbins. Actually, it does look a bit like plant. So some, some are plants, and some some are plants and some are dustbins. <laughs> so it's not too far from Plaisance Mall where there's loads of parking. So you can park at Plaisance and then you can come walk out into the street for a bit of shopping. <laughs> Foodies, don't worry. Them and the money transfer people. Always have keys. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Those can't be in season yet. Those look like little guavas. He's got beautiful cups. And it looks like the guavas are here. Oh, man. Right, so over there is a place on Shopping Village. We did a video on that whole place. But you come out that end and that's the main street of Roseville. Where all those other shops are. I have been going on about electric scooters. This is not a scooter, but it is electric. Oh man. Oh, oh wow. A proper motorbike, fully electric. Oh man, that is epic. Hey, here we go. Rose Bell. And that's the main road that we just walked on. Yeah, you do need to give Buddy a name sometime. Yeah. <laughs> that's and the there street. we go. That's the street, and that's Rose Bell beyond it. Now, awesome. I would like to fly forward, but I'm not sure how that's going to work out for us. <laughs> and we're going to follow the road for a little while, just so you can see that I've got good drone flying skills. <laughs> Following that red bus, that's the red bus below us. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that's the road. That's the road we walked on. It's cool. It's so a really long road, actually. No wonder is. we're tired. That's us. That's us in the parking lot. You can't actually see us. Because we're under a tree. But come on back, buddy. <laughs> oh, wow. Rose Bell, Main Street. Well, it's also the busy street. Well, anyway, everyone, thanks for watching. See you again next time.